Tell me some good news. <laughs> well, marine protected areas are on the way around the UK. So the one of the things that the UK Marine Coast Marine and Coastal Access Act uh, will do is that's to what, that's the Marine Act in short. That's right, the Marine Act uh, in short. It will. Uh, establish a network of marine conservation zones around the waters of the UK. Now, it, it's happening in a, a, a kind of phased development. Scotland has its own Marine Act, which has also been passed and will lead to marine protected areas in their waters. But at the moment, England and Wales are uh, moving fast to establish networks of marine conservation zones by 2012. That, that's an exciting development, and it's one that the, the government has been quite noisy about. They want, they, want, they want credit for it, they want everyone to see that they're being proactive. Uh, is it enough? Well, it's, it's a, a very important part of good management of the sea, and one of the things that we have ignored for years is the uh, connection between the quality of the habitat out there and the productivity and sustainability of the fishery. The use of destructive fishing methods, for example, trawls and scallop dredges, which scrape back and forth across the seabed will lead to a reduction of the, the capacity of the sea to support life. And uh, what that means is that no matter how good the, your, your sums are on the fisheries themselves and, and the amounts being caught, those fish stocks are going to suffer as a result of the overall degradation of the sea. So really, conservation zones are in the best interest of the fishing industry and it, it, it behoves them to get behind the design of the conservation zone network so that they have the best chance of being in the places that are important to the species that we exploit.